Welcome to Bible Talk. Junior! Welcome back to Bible Talk Junior! Yay! Woohoo! Bible Talk Junior! <laughs> well, uh, today looks like it's going to be just me by myself, so will you sing with me, please? Uh, we'll sing a, a new song, one we haven't done in Bible Talk Junior yet, but I think you know it. It's called the Hippopotamus Song. Do you remember the Hippopotamus Song? Do you? Good, good. All right, help me out. In the beginning I made the seas, and the forest filled with trees, and the mountains up so high. At the top he placed the sky, his fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares, in the middle he had some fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. Hippo hippopotamus, hippopotamus, God made all us. Hippo hippopotamus, hippopotamus, God made all us. Yay! There's another way to sing it. We call it the, the dinosaur song. In the beginning, God made the seas, and the forest filled with trees, and the mountains up so high. At the top, he placed the sky, his fingerprints are everywhere, just to show how much he cares. In the middle, he had some fun, he made a dinosaur that weighed a ton. Dino, dino, dinosaur, hear him stomp and hear him roar! Dino, dino, dinosaur, hear him stomp and hear him roar! <laughs> that was fun! That was so fun. I wish I had more people with me to sing, but that was still... Hey, Alex. Hey, Xandra. Hey, Alexandra. Good to see you guys. Hi. Hi. We have a friend who wants to sing with us today. Okay. Well, tell them to come on. We like when friends come, don't we, everybody? Come on, Christy. Hi, Christy. Good Hi. to see you, too. Hi. Just in time to sing Jesus Loves Me. Good, good. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Good job. Let's sing Blue Skies and then have our puppet show. Are we ready? Yeah. Blue skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven are what I can see. When my Lord is living in me, I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he promised me that we never would part. All right, that was great. Hey, you guys pay attention. We're going to have a great Bible story tonight. Okay, disciples. Yes, Jesus. Yes, just like the story we just had about the ten maidens. Do you remember that one from, from earlier? Yes. Yes, they needed to be, be watchful to be ready. Well, there's more that we need to do than just being watchful. We need to use what God has given us. And so I want to tell you another parable. A parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. This parable is about the talents. And I hope you pay attention and learn a lot. Servant. Yes, Master? I have to go away for a long time. I'm going to leave you with these, with these five talents to take care of for me until I return. Yes, Master. I'll put you straight to work. Servant. Yes, Master? Well, I'm about to go away for a long time, and I need you to take care of these, these two talents for me, please. You can trust me, Master. Servant. Yeah? I am about to go away for a long time. I need you to take care of this one talent for me, please. Um, I guess, okay, if you say so. I don't want to do anything with this talent. I'm just going to bury it. <clears throat> After a long while, the master returned. 
and called for his servants to see what they had done with the talents that he had trusted them with. Master, you gave me five talents, and I gained five more, so now I have ten talents. That's great. Great job. You worked very hard. Enter into the joy of my Lord. Whoopee! Master, you gave me two talents, and I worked very hard and doubled it, and now I have four. That's great. I'm very proud of you. Enter into the joy of my Lord. Yay! Master, I kept your talents safe and buried them in a hole. You you did what with it? Um, buried them in a hole. And so how many talents do you have now? One. One. How many did I give you? Oh, one. You were lazy. You didn't do anything with what I gave you. No good. You didn't help anybody. You didn't work with it. You didn't even put it in the bank and, and let it grow that way. Oh, you wicked and evil, lazy servant. Cast you into outer darkness. Be gone now. The meaning of the parable is this. God is like the master. And we need to be sure that we are using what he gives us. That we take care of everything he gives us. Our time, our money, our friends, everything. It's all from God, and God expects us to do good with it. Wow, that was a good story tonight. I hope you liked it just as much as I did. Let's try to remember a little bit about it, okay? Who was telling the story? Who was telling that story? It was a puppet, like a man, had a blue shirt on. What puppet is that? What is that? Oh, yes, it was Jesus. Good job. So Jesus told the story, and he used a kind of a funny word to talk about the story. He said it was a pa, pa, parable. Do you remember what a parable is? It is an earthly story with a what? Heavenly meaning. Good job. You remembered that. Okay, this was the parable of the talents. The master comes, and he he gives talents, which is kind of like money, to, to his servants. The first one got how many from the master? Do you remember? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Do you remember what the servant who got five talents did? Right away, he did something. He went and he worked hard. That's good. Good job. Another servant came. And the master gave him how many talents? Do you remember? One, two. Two of them. And what did he do? He went away and he did the same thing, right? What was that? He went and worked hard. Good job. And then came the last servant. Do you remember how many talents the last one got? Think about it. It's not a big number. It's a little number. One talent. What did he do? Did he go and work hard? No, he did not, did he? Do you remember what he did? What was that? That's right. He got his shovel and he buried it in the ground. That wasn't good, was it? The master came back. And do you remember how many talents the man that started off with five had? He worked really hard, and now he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten talents. And the master was very happy for him, wasn't he? And then the man who had the two talents, he came back. And he had more talents, too. Do you remember how many he had? Let's count them to try to remember. One, two. He started off with two, and now he has three, four. One, two, three, four. And the master was very happy with him, too. And then the man that had one. Do you remember the one? He buried it in the ground. How many did he have when the master came back? Oh, he only had one still. Was the master happy with him? No, he wasn't. Then Jesus came and he told us, do you remember what Jesus told us? That it's important for us to always use what God gives us. That makes him happy. Good job listening tonight. One, two, three. Whoa, one, whoa. Two, three. It must be one, time for the one, two, three, two, three song, then, is it? I guess yeah. it is.
Are you ready? One, two, three, Jesus loves me. One and two, Jesus loves you. Three and four, he loves you more, more than you ever been loved before. Five, six, seven, I'm going to heaven. Eight and nine, his love is divine. Now we've sung right up to ten. We don't have time to sing it again. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bible Talk to you.